What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Just got over here to the shop. We're at BK Performance. We're going to be working on Randy's motor today. <laughs> Got new bearings, rod bearings, and crank bearings. We're gonna roll those in. The goal is maybe get the old pan back on this thing tonight so we can get it ready to drop in the car so Jason Braswell can do his thing. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Go to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some merchandise. And don't forget, Randy's got t shirts up there also. Pro Mod Randy. All right, guys, well, here we go. Randy, what you think? You go. We're working on it. We're working on it. All right. So this is this gangster motor. God, this thing is, it is gangster. So we're just going to go ahead and roll rod bearings and crank bearings in it. We're going to snatch the heads off, but I don't think we need to. Let me look down in there with a the borescope. Everything looks fine. Best uh, we can tell. So uh, motor was closed. There's no aluminum anywhere. Bearings, I didn't think about it. There's a good call on the bearings, especially because I completely forgot we had thrown the oil pump off, the oil pump belt twice. twice yeah. So I bet that's where that little bit of wear that we saw came from. Yeah. So um, I guess we'll roll the crank bearings in it first, go ahead and do the main bearings in it. Then once we get the main bearings in it, then we will do the rods. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, rolling the main bearings in was more difficult than than I have ever had happen, and we think it's because of the aluminum block. Uh, it's the only thing we can think of. There was a couple of them that were very, very, very tight. We think maybe the aluminum is a little shrunk. Uh, it's a little tighter when it's cold. It is the only thing we can think of. But we rolled all the bearings in it, got the mains in it. Uh, not an issue. Well, no, that's not true. It was a pain in the butt. Uh, rods are all in except for these last two. And the only thing I was going to show you, when you're messing with these rod bearings, we take the caps off of it. And we have not torqued any of the, the rod bearings. They're just cinched on there, probably 15, 20 foot pounds. Basically, from this point, you can see the rod. You take the cap off of it. And what we do, the easy thing, uh, you can push the rod down in there, but you can also roll this thing out. Now, you got to pay attention. The tang is on this side. So basically, right here, Randy's going to push on it. And you just roll it out, just lightly push on the bearing and it'll it'll come on through. And then you grab it on this side on the tang, right here on this side. Yep, and it should just roll right on out. Sometimes you might have to loosen the rod up a little bit, but most of the time it will, will move right on out. There you go. And it'll roll right around. And then once you get it to here, of course, it just pops right off. Now, um, you just have to pay special attention. Gosh, I, it is very, there you go, I got it, I got it. <laughs> the magnet comes in handy. Right. Oh, you're good, it's a strong magnet. So when you look at these bearings, the rod bearings, these, all of them don't look terrible. I mean, there's a little bit of spots on them, not bad. You look at the crankshaft, crankshaft looks good. And it's got a thin oil coating on it. So basically you put the lube on it, try not to get a lot of it on the back of it, and then you roll this back in. Now to roll it back in, you have to go opposite of the way well you still roll it the same way but you roll it in oh i'm going look i'm going the wrong way so you have to go this way and then the tang has to end up in the tang spot so you roll it down roll it around and it kind of puts itself where it needs to be and then the tang gets lined up and then you just push it in there and it's just that simple so you're just right there at it. So, and you can see the chafered part of the rod. 
is over here. So really easy to see with this. You see the bearing is kind of over on this side. It's away from the radius. So aluminum rods all have dowel pins in them. So you have the dowel pin and then you have the, um, the tain. And so then basically you do tain to tain. You notice one side of the rod is flat that goes up against the other rod and the other side is beveled. So it goes on just like that and tame the tang. And if you try to tighten that down the wrong way, it will 100% lock the crankshaft up because the bearing gets on the radius and it uh, locks it up. And so then all we do is just run it down, impact wrenches and guns are just for just a couple of ugga duggas. And then that's good. So now we'll do the other one beside it and then we will be done. And then we'll go back and final torque these. And these are torqued to 75 foot pound. So all in all, not too bad. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap it up. Randy's doing final torque on the rod bolts now. So hopefully everything is good. I think everything is fine. We are just gonna do this, uh, get the oil pan on it. He said he's gonna take the oil pan home with him and so you can clean it really good, get it nice and clean. And then maybe, possibly one day this week coming up, maybe this weekend, we're supposed to be getting hurricane and some storms. Maybe this weekend we can get this thing in the car, possibly. All right, guys, well, we're done. Comment, like, and subscribe. Oh. Don't, don't forget, go to Turbo John Rain. Go to Turbo John Racing. Don't forget, go to Turbo John Racing. Grab yourself a Pro Mod Randy t shirt. Pro Mod! Look, I say it all the time. I'm like an announcer. Pro Mod Randy. <laughs> I got, hold on. All right, guys, welcome to the track. We got Pro Mod Randy. This is my microphone. <laughs>